Hello and welcome to It Just Works. I'm Virtual Paradise and in this video I'm going to be building a 12 GPU mining rig with the ASRock Q270 mining motherboard and 12 of my 16 series graphics cards. Somehow some of the footage corrupted towards the end of the build but I got most of it. So let's get into the video. Actually, I've got a bit too much stuff on this table, so I'm going to install Windows and then I shall be back shortly. Waiting on a couple more power supplies and another couple of other little bits and bobs as well. As well as two more graphics cards, so exciting to get those. Well, all is going good, setting up Windows and the motherboard, etc. So, good job the second-hand hard drive works and the CPU and everything else. <laughs> So as soon as my new power supplies come, then and my new cards, then I'm going to be putting this whole rig together. So I'm probably just going to skip straight from this to building the rest of the frame and then building the rest of the rig. So we now have a nice 12 card rig on the go, all full of 1660 Supers and 1660 Ti's. I'm using two 850 watt power supplies. And if we take a look at the mining screen, you can see there are the hash rates for all the cards. Got a couple of cards running a bit hot, so I'll probably have to re-thermal paste and pad them at some point. But they haven't lost any mega hash, so that's all good. And as you can see, the full rig in the software is pulling 897 watts. So it's probably pulling about 950 watts at the wall. I'll have to get a reader soon though, because it would be nice to tell what actual wattage I'm pulling from the wall from different rigs. And as you can see on the 1660 Supers and the 1660 Ti's, you generally get around 31 to 32 mega hash. And they normally pull between about 70 and 90 watts but some of the better ones should be around 70 watts, maybe even a little bit less, especially when you use the lock core clock. And this whole rig is averaging 422 kilohash per watt. Most of the cards are over 400 kilohash per watt. So overall, they are still pretty efficient for mining Ethereum and Ethereum Classic. Okay, so just a few thoughts about the ASRock Q270 mining motherboard and the 16 series graphics cards. First off, I think the motherboard is fantastic. I haven't run into any issues. It's been very stable. I love the offset PCI ports, so they're not too close together. There's 13 PCI ports altogether, but there's also an M.2 slot, so it may be able to support a 14th PCI slot using an M.2 to PCI adapter. So overall, I highly rate this board if you want a 12 plus GPU mining rig. Now the 16 series cards are still extremely reliable and easy to overclock mining cards. They're relatively low power and usually give a reliable 31 to 32 mega hash on Ethereum and Ethereum Classic, so I would still recommend picking up these GPUs at a good price. 
Well, that's about it for this video. So thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video or learned something new, please drop a like, consider subscribing to the channel, and I'll catch you in the next one. Happy mining. Peace.